this for me conjures up one of my favorite episodes in Bach's life was when he was in Weimar and he was employed by the two constantly feuding dukes and one of them had a very talented son, Johann Ernst von Sachsen Weimar. He was a very gifted musician and uh, he caught the eye of Bach. As young aristocrats do, they go for a grand tour, they go and uh, study somewhere uh, and in his case it was two years, maybe more than that, I think two years, from 1711 to 1713, I think, he went to Utrecht and studied there at the University of Utrecht. At that time, some of the greatest works by Corelli, Vivaldi, lots of Italian masters, were being published for the first time by Roger, the publisher Roger in Amsterdam. And uh, Johann Ernst brought some editions. We can imagine him going, down, going to Amsterdam, going to... Uh, the, the Salhoun of the, of, of the day, and, and, and buying this music and going back to uh, Weimar and, and showing this to Bach. This was one of the, I would say, one of the most uh, ep epicentral moments in Bach's life where he came into contact with uh, Italian music. Of course, he, he knew Italian music from manuscript sources, and he knew some older music, he knew the Frescobaldi and all that, but he, this was the first contact. These were the premises for transcribing a lot of works by Italian masters for harpsichord and for organ. What uh, I particularly like about the Alessandro, I have to say it's not Benedetto, there have been many confusions about Alessandro, but it's Alessandro, the older brother. Uh, Alessandro Marcello, well this oboe concerto is a piece which had a huge success in its time and right to now. He turned it into a really extraordinary keyboard player. This is, this is Bach, the, the great transcriber, the great arranger. I'll give you a few examples of something which I, I, I find really cool. Uh, well, instead of, for instance, when the ritonello, you have the, 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 the ritonello, which is this, this. And when it's repeated, he will not just, um, but of course he'll do. That's already a, a sign of, of, of Bach's, well, we could call it genius, but of course he, he's always trying to do things differently and, nev and trying to uh, avoid something monotonous. The, the original was there to allow people to, you know, invent things while, while playing, and certainly the oboe player would be expected to do ornaments. Um, uh, Bach tends, prefers, uh, to write them out to write them out. Another example which I like um, is um, late in the piece when you have... That's the original, so you have the strings, carpet of, carpet of uh, harmony, and the oboe does... Uh... Now Bach does a kind of crescendo, um, and he does something which uh, in uh, uh, in jazz would be called thickened line. You thicken the line bit by bit. So he starts with one voice. Extraordinary crescendo. This is very interesting because it gives us an idea about interpretation. This line obviously needs a crescendo. In those days you would not write crescendi or decrescendi in music. Well here Bach in his transcription, clearly provokes a crescendo, whether you want it. It's difficult not to play a crescendo here. The Adagio has something the, in the original, the oboe is unadorned, the oboe line, so it's just... And as we go down the, in the chain of sevens, we're going down... And well, of course, Bach will do something completely different. And here we have Bach we have Bach's laboratory of ornamentation. 
Here we have Bach at his table working out the most refined and subtle and sophisticated and yet very and not not overdone yet yet very very natural very natural and well balanced ornamentation and embellishing so what what was uh, becomes and what well, what was oboe player would have come up with some really great stuff but Bach, uh, Bach being Bach he likes to, to make some good suggestions so and he does that's the, that's the third one and of course the fourth one will be even more intricate I would say here there's almost a didactic again, a pedagogic element. You want to know, you want to learn how to ornament? Look at this piece. Bach is giving us some clear instructions. Mm -hmm.